Hey, 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 how's my best girlfriends? Okay, guys, <laughs> welcome back to Up and Adam Channel 2, where we have all of the extra coverage, and um, that's exactly what we're bringing to you. Guys, I wanted to touch on this drama that's going on. It's kind of like a Beverly Hills, Miami crossover, and Amory Wiley is an interesting character to me. But so are all of the people that we're about to jump into. There's drama, and we're about to break it down. So go ahead, smash that like button. If you're not subscribed, get subscribed. Don't forget to hit that notification bell, and let's jump right in. So I don't know if you guys have been watching The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, but... Sutton claims that she has a small esophagus. Never heard about that, but there's a lot of things that we're born with and people are born with and they are different shapes and sizes. So why could she not have a small esophagus? I'm not saying that that's not true, but Anne-Marie raised some concerns about her small esophagus. Now, first, we're going to talk about Nicole Martin, who's slamming the hell out of Anne-Marie for belittling Sutton's esophagus issues. Now, Real Housewives of Miami star, who is Dr. Nicole, she's slamming her for the whole belittling of it all. And she said, Anne-Marie is cringy for her comments about Sutton Strack's esophagus issue. She said, it does not matter where you fall on the spectrum, all the way from being a tech to being a doctor. You join the profession to be an advocate for patients. And as such, it is not our place to belittle, question, or demean a patient's symptoms or diagnosis. We are there to facilitate and help the patient through the medical process, and it was just very uncomfortable and cringy to watch Anne-Marie belittle Sutton's symptoms in such a way. I know that this video, it goes back where this was a little bit ago, um, but she did say what she had to say, and honestly, she was pretty straightforward about it. I'll share the video with you guys right now just so you get the context of it, but then I was really excited to see the little clap back that we got from Anne-Marie because she was not, um, she was not holding back. My kitchen counter in pajamas because this is the only time I'm going to have to do this. I've been meaning to respond to the countless number of messages, DMs, and tweets about the Beverly Hills Sutton esophagus issue with Anne-Marie. I just haven't had time. So here's my quick take. Not going to bore you with the medical details. Tiffany Moon did a great post. So if you want to go check that out, go for it. But here's my personal opinion on this. This is not a question about whether you are a nurse, a CRNA versus a physician. It does not matter where you fall in the spectrum, all the way from being a tech to being a doctor. You join the profession to be an advocate for patients. And as such, it is not our place to belittle, question, or demean a patient's symptoms or diagnosis. We are there to facilitate and help the patient through the medical process. And it was just very uncomfortable and cringy to watch Anne-Marie belittle Sutton symptoms in such a way. She's a lovely person, Anne Marie. I met her at BravoCon. We sat on the panel, but that scene was a no. Mm, 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 mm. Okay. Well, it keeps going. So on the episode, Anne Marie, who is a nurse, right? Anesthesiast, made it seem that Sutton was over dramatizing the seriousness of her esophagus issues. She said, narrow esophagus, that's that's a symptom of something. That's not a medical diagnosis. If you have like a stricture in your esophagus, all you do is chew your food more. If you really have a problem, you go get treatment for that. But Sutton said, you're not my doctor. Why am I having a doctor's appointment right now? My brother gets his stretched out. I choose not to do that. Shall we go get my esophagus stretched out all together as a group? Now, Nicole slammed Anne Marie for gaslighting. Medical gaslighting, Sutton. She also wrote, Let's not do this. Hashtag gaslighting. Gaslighting can happen in medicine too. Medical gaslighting occurs when a medical professional dismisses or downplays a patient's physical symptoms or attributes um, and saying pretty much if you say that Sutton is saying that she has esophagus issues and you're saying it's something else, well, that is medical gaslighting. She said, but ultimately the patient is impacted, so let's do better. Now, Dr. Tiffany Moon also previously blasted Anne-Marie for weaponizing her medical profession to tell Sutton things about her own condition. On TikTok, Dr. Tiffany Moon said, the whole scene was kind of cringy to me. I don't know what made her go at Sutton so hard, especially when it was her party. Like, I found that to be incredibly rude. But yeah, let's not weaponize our medical knowledge to come at people, especially when you are wrong. 
Mm, okay. Now let's get to the Anne Marie of it all because, like I said, she's popping in. So Anne Marie Wiley was shocked by Dr. Nicole Martin's hurtful remarks. And I'm guessing it would be Dr. Tiffany Moons as well. And page six put this out there saying, I was really very hurt by Dr. Nicole doing that. As a colleague in this practice, she knows my training, she knows my skill set, she knows my knowledge base. Why wouldn't you offer that professional courtesy and reach out to me and kind of ask, oh, I wasn't really comfortable with that? Why were you doing that? Emory believes that Dr. Nicole's defense of Sutton, who suffers from a strictured esophagus, was an attention grab rather than a sincere expression of concern. I actually reached out to her after I was told that she made a video and she didn't respond to it, which shows me that it wasn't so much about clarifying anything for anyone. Uh, it was really unfortunate she said, unfortunately, about trying to capitalize off of the Beverly Hills show. And I guess this is what the kids call clout chasing, right? You're just trying to capitalize on a moment for likes and whatever it is. Um, She also said that, Anne-Marie said that she was making Crystal Kung Minkoff relevant. This is probably not the best way to navigate going into the housewives world, which, by the way, Sutton has said some really awful shitty things. Like, you already lost two sisters. Do you want to lose another one? But I get, I think it's like when you, you know, you take a pledge or an oath or whatever, you become a lawyer or a medical, you know, expert, whatever you become, I think that that stands for something. So it's like, I bow to make sure I do the right thing. And I think that's what Dr. Nicole Martin is saying is like, that's what you're supposed to be doing, Anne-Marie Wiley. And it doesn't look like you are doing that. So last month, again, Dr. Nicole Martin called her out about the cringy comments, and I'm just wondering why she's not calling out Dr. Tiffany Moon about this, because that's the part where I'm like, um, why wouldn't you? So Anne-Marie has apologized to those who she offended in her line of questioning, which obviously became something known as the esophagate. She said, let me just start by saying sorry to anyone and everyone that was hurt, offended with me saying my remark. Oh, if you have a stricture, you just chew your food. I was being very fascist when I said that. And lesson learned in that as a medical professional on this platform, I now understand that I'm not going to be given the same kind of leeway to be nonsensical like some of the other ladies will be with some things. She out I feel like that's deflecting. She also emphasized that it was her intention, was not her intention to offend anybody with her commentary on an actual very serious topic. I apologize for that. Uh, I mean, I accept her apology. Now, the mother of four said that she's only become curious after her pal Kyle Richards remarked to the Beverly Hills ladies, that Sutton Strack doesn't eat much, which is a habit that the latter blamed on having a narrow esophagus. I'm really trying to understand what Sutton's talking about and why, and it's being presented to me as somebody who's just meeting the ladies for the first time as an excuse. Emery felt that Sutton became very angry and defensive over her inquiries about the cause of her esophagus issues, making it difficult for the pair to find common ground amid differing opinions. She's not very forthcoming with information sometimes. Ugh. She also said, so that's really what it is. Emory has asserted that Sutton's narrow esophagus is a symptom of an underlying condition rather than a diagnosis, though her adversary does not seem to agree. I'm trying to understand what the underlying condition is, like what's happening. I don't think we're going to understand, but I know Dr. Nicole Martin is telling you to shut up. And Anne Marie saying, you're thirsty. And Sutton's just like, I'm just trying to chew my food. So... I want to hear what your guys think. Go ahead, smash that like button. Show some love if you already haven't. And um, we'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Love you.